It's a very sad day if you are a uh, Brooklyn Net fan slash, you know, New Jersey Net fan as they were known uh, a couple of years ago. And um, one of the main reasons why I became a Net fan or I, was, I am a Net fan is um, back in those days, back in the uh, early 90s, he had a player by the name of Drazen Petrovic. Drazen Petrovic uh, passed away in 93. But uh, my, my first memory is watching Drazen Petrovic play. Hence how I became a uh, net fan. Passed away in 93. Uh, 29 years old. Could have been one of the greatest basketball players in the NBA. Uh, what happened is he was in a car accident, 29 years in, uh, overseas in Europe, Germany, and um, no longer with us. But he could have been one of the greatest basketball, NBA basketball players of all time. He's already probably undoubtedly one of the best uh, European players of all time. And one could argue that when he started playing... Uh, in the NBA, he kind of opened up the doors for all these um, European stars uh, to make the way in the air in the uh, NBA. You know, you think of Peja Stojakovic, who you remember a few years back, great player, he had a great um, you know success as a European player as well. You know, like I said, Petrovic was one of the stars on uh, all types. Whatever he touched, wherever he played, he was a star. Um, he had two silver, two silver medals and uh, one bronze in Olympic basketball, a gold and a bronze in the FIBA World Championship, and a gold and a bronze in the FIBA European uh, Championship. Um, he uh, he started off his uh, NBA career in 1989 when he um, was a member of the Portland Trail Blazers. Played mostly off the bench in garbage time. Uh, Petrovic kind of got his legs as far as playing NBA when he um, had his breakthrough when he was traded to the Nets. Uh, while starting for the Nets, he became one of the Nets and one of the league's best shooting guards. His number, number three, if you go, was uh, retired by the Nets in 93. And um, the year he died in 2002, he actually was inducted into the uh, Basketball Hall of Fame. Actually, even in 2013, he was uh, voted the best European basketball player uh, in history. Uh, which, you know, why I say undoubtedly one of the best uh, European players of all time. Um, you know, when he started in Portland, he um, you know, it was, like I mentioned, coached by Rick Adelman. Uh, he mostly um, you know, played in garbage time, playing 12 minutes and you know, scoring just a mere seven points per game, but at that point you had a backcourt of Clyde Drexler and Terry Porter already, uh, you know, established there. Uh, the beginning of 90, of the 90-91 season, um, when, uh, when he was still playing with Portland, his minutes dropped to, uh, seven minutes per game. Um, It was during that time where I reading notes here he um he demanded a trade basically a three way trade like I mentioned became uh you know to the New Jersey Nets. Ninety one he started with the Nets and at that point uh he had one he was playing with one of the two best young prospects in the league, Kenny Anderson and Derek Coleman. But obviously a team that had not reached its potential as far as the playoffs since 86. Immediately when he came on with the Nets, he um, increased playing time 20, uh, 20 minutes per game, 
scoring average of 12 points per game in 43 games with the Nets. In 91-92, his first full season with the Nets, um, he averaged 20.6 points, 36 minutes on the floor, leading all NBA guards in field goal percentage with 51. Then he missed a single game, and uh, he established himself as a team leader, and he was named MVP. And this was a turning point for the Nets back in those days. Um, you know, led into uh, more of the Nets' success. They had 14 more wins than the season before, and they actually made the playoffs. 92-93 season. Um, after the 92-93 season, Petrovic was now up to 22 points per game, and that was the 11 best that season. And he repointed his and uh, repeated his three-point field goal percentage from the previous season at 45 percent and again nearly leading all guards in field goal percentage of 52 um, he had made the NBA third team however though when you look at it the rumor was after he didn't um, make the all-star game in 93 this was a huge uh, disappointment to uh, Petrovic, so goes the story. Among the top 13 scorers in the NBA that season, it was a travesty that he was not invited to the game. So much so where he, uh, he felt the lack of frustration going into that offseason when he died uh, playing you know, NBA ball because he wasn't getting any recognition. And the rumor is, is that he wanted to play in Greece. So much so that the coach actually gave him a open contract that had already been signed. The salary uh, left blank. Basically meaning that whatever Petrovic wanted to get, pay get paid for playing in that, in that, on that Greece team, in that Greek league, the owner of that Greek team was willing and able and wanted to do it. Sad. He would have been 50 years old. Uh, actually, would have been today. Sad. Kind of wonder what could have been uh, had uh, Drazen been around. But if you watch some of his old tapes on YouTube, sweet shot. The reason why I am a Net fan. Until next time. Adios.